the minute that it stops being fun, then you have to pull yourself from it. You guys addressing the most anticipated nominee of the evening, Ariana DeBose. I cannot wait to see this look. What do you love working about her so much? Ariana and Zadrian doing some kind of dance routine and every moment that really is her moment that's about her, she takes us with her. She's really helped me understand what I bring to the table. When Sarah and I decided to come together as partners, we said to ourselves, it was important to us that we dress women and men who we feel were individually pushing for the agenda in society on all the isms, racism, sexism, going against the grain of what is commonplace in society. And often when you decide to work with people like that, they aren't the model sample sizes. They aren't the people who the fashion industry has built up as the, you know, the emblems of what beauty is. For us, it's not about us conforming to fashion. It's about fashion conforming to our clients and the way that we want to do things with our clients. A very big event, as I said, Oscars. I want to ask you guys a few quick questions. First one, what makes an Oscar worthy look? Somebody who looks completely themselves. A look that you can look back on 50 years from now and still say that was a great choice. The Oscar Laurenta look. Tell me something we don't see just by looking at, at this picture. The amount of corsetry and the ha and the craftsmanship in that dress is insane. The process of doing custom with the house was incredible. It was so old school. He pulled out his sketchbook. He started sketching right in front of me. We're having cocktails. We're having a laugh. He said to me, Adrian, this is an important season for you. The minute that it stops being fun, then you have to pull yourself from it. You do color, you do bold, you do bright. Is this a prerequisite for Ariana? Ari called me the other day and she was like, listen, y'all got me out here looking like all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> we want to spread love and joy. She's like, let's darken the hues, please. Let's darken the hues for the remainder of the award season. So let's talk numbers. How many people are involved in creating an Oscar look? At least 60. I'd say 10 from the designer's team, 10 from our team. 10 from Ariana's team, then Ariana's, you know, family, who she, who she really takes into account. Then there's our press team, obviously the Academy, the West Side Story team. Sarah, your best red carpet style trick. It can be very easy to overdo a movement or overdo a shape. And I always say it's more like a Pilates hold, almost like hold the muscles kind of where you need them to be in small ways. I say to them, when you get on the carpet and you get ready to take your pictures, keep your head down. And I learned this from JLo, from Robin Mariel. Keep your head down because none of the photographers are going to take your picture while your head down. When you're in your moment, when you're ready, center yourself, lift your head up, and go ready. Golden advice. <laughs> you heard it here. You heard it here on the streets of New York. Give me, both of you, one adjective to describe the look we will be seeing on the red carpet on Oscar Sunday. Truthful. I'd say brave. I yeah. cannot wait to see this look.